everybody, welcome to our summer story and for today's video, I'll be discussing with you the requirements and how we applied for a Chinese tourist visa if you have a Philippine passport. Alright, so guys, ano ano nga ba mga requirements? Alright, I'll be discussing and sharing it with all of you, okay? So number one on the list is of course, we have you need to submit your passport and we all know it has to be valid within six months from the time of departure. So that's, um, I believe, self-explanatory, right? And for number two, you need to have a visa application form. I'll put the link on the description box below. And you have to fill it out, fill it out guys. Fill out nyo siya online, okay? Hindi pwedeng sulatan mo siya. Hindi pwedeng print mo siya, susulatan mo, and then yung isasabit mo, no. No, 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 no. Charot lang. Yung gagawin nyo guys is um, i-download nyo siya alright, tapos i-input nyo lahat ng information online and have it printed directly. Okay, so yeah. And also, you need to submit your picture, syempre with white background. Pero guys, alam nyo naman na yun. And they have a specific requirement. Okay, so, for the picture size, they have 48mm by 33mm. So, yan yung allowed nilang picture. Now, if you have 1x1 one one or whatever size you have there, girl, please, utang na loob, huwag mo na ipilit. <laughs> Kasi yun nga, may specific requirements sila. Also, guys, hindi ko na mention sa inyo earlier, may more requirements kasi na nasa website that, I mean, na wala sa website that they actually ask from you pagdating nyo doon. And parang, oh, really? I need it, no? So, paano mo nalaman, Sam? Well, actually, naging biktima po ako. Hindi, <laughs> pero seriously, pumunta ako doon twice. Okay? Bumalik ako doon ng dalawang beses because of this. Right? Hindi ko lang alam, ha, kung hindi ko lang nakita. But as far as I am concerned, nag-check ako online, nag-check ako sa website, they never mentioned that they needed two copies of your picture. Alright? Yung isa, guys, ididikit nyo na agad doon sa um, what do you call that? Visa application form. Okay? Use glue or paste utang na loob. Huwag gumamit ng stapler or scotch tape or kung anong trip mo dyan. Girl, please. And also, so yun na nga, diba? Hindi na na-mention. Then you have an ex, and you should have an extra picture with you na isasubmit nyo doon. Okay? And if you're a first-timer na mag-apply ng Chinese visa, you need additional requirements such as, of course, you need bank certificate and bank statement for six months. Okay? So, sabihin mo, bakit dalawa? Eh, dalawa yung nanap nila eh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, guys, bank certificate kasi and bank statements are different. Magkaiba yon. Bank certificate, doon nakalagay yung kung kailan mo inopen yung account mo, how much is the current balance, so on and so forth. Sa bank statement naman, doon nakalagay yung transactions mo, like in and out of your money, your average daily balance in the past six months. So, doon nakalagay yun. And they want to see it. So, Yes, kumuha kayo sa uh, sa banko ninyo. I think you you pay 100 pesos for bank certificate and 100 pesos din for bank statement. So separate yung fee niya. Okay? Number 5 is your income tax return. Today is 2019, so you need to submit 2018. Pang wala pang 2018, I believe okay naman yung income tax return na 2017. Okay? Next is your certificate of employment. Alam nyo naman yan. You just go to your um, HR. Sabihin nyo, I need my certificate of employment. Um, specifically for visa application. You, you, they need to put your position, your salary, you, the, the date, your hired, and all that stuff. Alam naman na nila yan. Okay? And if you're a business woman, or man, whatever, you need to submit your DTI certificate. And if you have a business permit, you can also submit that. 
okay? Now, ito pa guys, hindi na mention sa kanilang website that I'd love to share with you para hindi na kayo mahirapan at bumalik-balik pa doon sa um, embassy, okay? If you have old passports with you, please um, ikabit na agad siya sa bagong passport. If not, indicate uh, doon sa visa application form na nawala nyo or wala talaga kayong pas old passport. Also, yung sa passport nyo guys, pa-photocopy nyo na yung bio page and, and the emergency information page. ba? So, sa ano yung bio page? Yung bio page, yun yung may mga picture mo, name, and other information, tapos sa likod, and then yung emergency information naman is yung sa likod na halagay doon kung please contact this specific person. Oh, yes. So, after gathering all the requirements, what's next? Charata. Well, you know what? I searched and I been to different um, anong ba tawag dito? Um, travel agencies and the cheapest na nakita ko charged 3,400 per person for the visa. And I was like, oh, that is so expensive. Like, ang mahal niya guys, pang Dubai level na siya. Kasi yung Dubai, I believe, I re as I remembered, we paid 5,500 per person. Okay, so konti na lang talaga. Sabi ko, why is this so expensive? So I did my research. Mm-hmm. Dahil tayo nga ay kuripo. Nag-research ako. And I found out. Charot na. Pwede naman palang pumunta doon sa embassy. So if you are from just within Metro Manila, then just go there. You know, um, I'll put the address below sa so description box. I'll put the address below. Just input it sa ways, the Chinese visa, I mean, the Chinese embassy in Manila, lalabas yun agad, guys. And they will give you direction. Pag sasakay mo kayo ng taxi, sabihin nyo lang, Chinese embassy, they already know where to bring you. And you submit all your requirements directly sa embassy. So that, um, mas cheaper siya. You'll pay cheaper fee. Diba? Kasi, um, ano nga ba? As I mentioned kanina, but if you're coming from mga provinces like Iloilo, Bacolod, mga Cebu, ganyan, you don't have a choice. Not unless, like for example, um, may pupuntahan kayo dito for as long as it is three months before the time of your departure. Kerry na yan, girl, kasi um, three months naman ang validity ng visa. So, pwede na kayo mag-apply agad. For the fee naman, since single entry nga lang yung kinuha namin, we only paid 1,400 per person. Pero pag double entry naman, you have to pay 2,100 pesos per person. Pag 6 months multiple entry, that's 2,800. And if it's over 6 months multiple entry, that's 4,200. Meron naman kumukuha na mga ganyan, guys. You know, your people that are planning to work there, mga ganyan. So, at least, di ba, may reference na kayo. Uh, so, let's go back sa natapos mo na i-gather yung um, requirements. What's the next step, Sam? Ano nga bang susunod mong step? Then, of course, you have to go to the Chinese embassy. Sabi nga kanina, as I mentioned, I'll put the address below para may reference kayo. And then, pagdating nyo dun, guys, sasabihin sa inyo ni Kuya Guard, go directly to second floor. Okay, so, sasakay ka ng elevator. Then, sa second floor, meron doong x-ray machine, guys. Okay? So, i-x-rayhin yung buong katawan ninyo. Kasi bawal nga makapasok doon yung may mga joke, joke, joke. Just kidding! Okay, so papasok nyo sa x-ray machine, yung mga gamit ninyo. And then papasok nyo, you'll have a lady guard waiting for you. Hello, good morning, ma'am. So, ganun na nga ang sabi niya, no? So, sabihin mo, Ate, I want to submit my requirements. Mag-apply po ako ng Chinese visa. So, she will check all your requirements. And then, uh, she will give you a number. Okay. Guys, yung Chinese Embassy kasi parang mga ano lang din siya, mga windows, you know, tapos may mga upuan lang din sa harap. And then, you will know kung saan kayong window kasi nakalagay naman doon sa bibigay ni ate sa number. But, uh, meron kasi doon sa isa window, say for example, number 60 to 65, then sa kabila naman 66 to 
70, ganyan. So, if you're number 85, you just wait for your turn. Kung nara, 81 to 85. So, kung saan yung 81 to 85 na window na yon, kasi may nagpa-flash doon, may nilalagay silang parang papel to guide you. Doon ka pipila. Okay? So, after that, they'll check your requirements. Okay? For as long as you submitted, lahat ng requirements na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, including the ones na hindi na mention sa website or sa kung saan mang blog post, um, for sure, tatanggapin na agad nila yung mga requirements nyo. Because that's the complete requirements that they need para sa single entry visa. Okay? So, so nung nakuha na nila, they will give you a slip. Tapos nakalagay doon kung kailan kayo babalik. Okay? Usually, the processing is 4 days. Okay? Apat na araw. But if you're in a hurry, masyado kang hot, I want my visa now. Charot lang. Um, they also have two days na expedite. I think you you pay around 2,000 plus for that. Tapos meron ding three days. Ganyan. So, depende sa'yo. Kung nagmamadali ka or kailangan mo talaga ng visa, they also have that. You know? Expedite. So, yun. And then, so, uuwi ka na. Then, rest, relax, chill. After four days, babalik ka na ulit. Siyempre, sa second floor, dadaan ka ulit ng x-ray machine. Makikita mo ulit si Lady Guard. Hello, good morning, ma'am. Yes, ate, gusto ko po sanang um, kunin yung visa ko. Oh my gosh. Siyempre, kung kunin mo ng visa mo, girl, ready ka na. Pumunta ng China. So, sasabihin ni Lady Guard, say, okay, here's your number. So, bibigay niya sa number. Okay, all you have to do is wait for your number to be called or to be flashed don't the screen. Your number is 581. Okay, so 479. Oh my gosh, dalawa na na. Tapos 480. 481 na girl, it's your turn. Okay, so magbabayad ka na ng 1,400. In my case, I paid 28 kasi dalawa nga kami, di ba? I paid 28. Here you go. Bibigyan niya ako ng resibo, which I'll show doon later sa window kung saan kukunin ang visa. So, pag ako ng resibo, bibila na ako doon sa window. Sa so, katabi lang naman, katabi ng cashier, doon din sila nagre-release ng visa. Pipila na ako, wait for my turn, then bibigay ko na doon. And then, after a few seconds, your visa is out. Tapos, guys, so titingnan mo na, oh my gosh, just a little story. Nung Tinignan ko yung passport ko, ganyan. Sabi ko, la, wala siya. Kasi, di ba, usually, yung mga visas, kinakabit siya sa front part. Yung sa Chinese, sa likod, hindi ko alam kung bakit. Baka trip lang nila doon. So, hinanap ko siya ng hinanap. And, boom! Found it! Doon na nga siya, guys. And, both of us got a single entry visa that is valid for three months. So, yun lang. That's just actually an easy process, no? So, yes, I know nandito kaya you're watching this video because you wanna know kung paano kumuha ng Chinese visa. Well, girl, I got you covered. Ito na yung sagot sa mga tanong mo, no? So, so yes, enjoy your trip sa China. Saan ka mang parte ng China? Kasi madami, guys. Eh. Shanghai, Beijing, Gilin. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but... Yun, yung so sobrang dami. Just enjoy, guys. Enjoy the food, enjoy the culture, and all that. Okay? And I hope I was able to help you answer your questions in your mind, in your heart, and whatever. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And join lang yan siya, guys. Please, isang pindot nyo lang yan. And also share this videos. We post travel videos, mga videos like this, you know, how to apply for visa, mga tips, hauls, etc, etc. So, yes, I really do hope that you subscribe and also like this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on our next one. Bye-bye! Mm -hmm.